Hey y'all, welcome to Doris Garden once again. And if this is your first time, welcome. So in today's video, we're just gonna talk about the struggles or the struggle that I had with breastfeeding in the beginning and how I pretty much been able to breastfeed longer than expected. What made me decide to breastfeed is because there are tremendous um, stop. There are tremendous benefits. Are you hungry? You hungry? You hungry? Yes. So there are tremendous benefits to breastfeeding and I breastfed my daughter for about like a month and a half but I really didn't know much about breastfeeding. Fast forward to after the birth of my son um you know it's just convenient. That's the first thing that they know to do is to just latch on. I mean you have everything that the baby needs so why not just give them the best and technically when they're first born I believe it's called what is it called? starts with the C. I'll leave it up up here somewhere but that's the most important that's actually more important than breastfeeding in general but you definitely want to give your baby the best now the type of struggles the things that I dealt with um, first off I really didn't have the support after my son was born I was home alone you know with my children and so can you imagine having a newborn and trying to breastfeed and also attend to a toddler? I mean, it's it's a lot. And remind you, I'm sleep deprived and all these things. I'm barely eating. So, you know, I will say that I had a really good friend of mine come to my rescue. And he kind of encouraged me to breastfeed. And he showed me different techniques or offered you know different suggestions to help with the production and things like that so what I end up doing was drinking a lot of fluids and I was trying to still eat three meals a day it's important that you continuously eat almost like you're eating for two but just kind of cut down on a portion size however breastfeeding actually study shows that breastfeeding helps with weight loss because you're burning calories while you're breastfeeding so I was like, wow, you know, there's so many benefits, not just for the baby, but for yourself. I mean, you you get a, a, a true connection like that skin to skin contact. I mean, it's exactly what the baby needs is what you need for you guys to bond. Let me just say this. This might be TMI, but I'm very sensitive. Like when I tell you just like you can like not even touch, just like graze or just like bump against and I can I feel everything I feel everything and so breastfeeding that's another struggle that I had was because of how sensitive my nipples were and I did deal with a little bit of engorgement and what I did was I would hop in the shower and let the warm water run on my body you know in the front and in the back and kind of relax what else I've tried pumping but to me, because I'm so sensitive, I figured I would do one or the other. And because he was already used to nursing, I figured why not nurse? And plus, I was at home. So why not? I was a stay-at-home mom. So why not just give him, you know, directly from the source? But yeah, so it was a struggle. Um, even like with him latching on, like sometimes he would and sometimes he wouldn't. And so at the hospital, they gave me a nipple shield and I used that a couple times. But then I realized, hey, I don't need it. Let me just try without it. What else? And then like there was a time when like during a certain time of the day, I kind of I felt like I went through a drought, but maybe it wasn't. But it was like the baby was more like fussy and it was harder for him to latch on and like I don't know maybe after I fed him he would still be hungry like he would cry but with that what I did was I just made sure that I was drinking plenty of fluids I was drinking water I was drinking tea tea is very good um, actually anything warm 
it actually helps with the process a lot quicker so you can try warm milk tea soup i would make homemade chicken noodle soup oh, that was the best i kind of want some right now but yeah so um yeah pretty much that's exactly what i did and i also continued taking my multivitamins and my prenatals i know that they have postnatals but I just continued taking what I had and um, just asked for a refill so that way um, everything that he's getting from me, it, I make sure that he's getting all the vitamins and minerals and everything that he needs if I don't eat it within that day. It supplements for, you know, what I didn't eat in that day. Um, what else? And so, yeah, I mean, I'm going to be honest. I was going to give up because I'm just like, I can't do this. The baby is fussing. And then another thing. Because the baby, my son would eat every three to four hours. Like, he was on it. Um, and technically, breast milk is a little bit thinner than formula. So, the, it fills him up, but not for as long as formula would. Mm. And so, um, are you finished? Nope. <laughs> nope. Mm. Nope. <laughs> nope. 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 You think it's funny? He's trying to play with my nipple, but it's just another form of bonding. So, nope. So, yes. Um, what was I saying? Um... So yeah, oh, getting up at night. So like, they say sleep when the baby sleep, do it. And that's one thing that I did. I slept when the baby slept. I will say the benefit of breastfeeding is literally you can just roll over and just give them the milk instead of having to get up, make the bottle or get up, go to the refrigerator and get the bottle. The baby has the milk on the man, literally. What? You want some more? So, yes. Um, th that's just one great. It's very convenient. And um, what else? Oh, I didn't have a period for about six to seven months after I had them. And that's different because with my daughter, right after I had her, <laughs> after the time that I stopped bleeding, my periods came right back. But for my son, I didn't have a period for at least six or seven months. And I have to admit, I loved not having a period. Like, man, it was like the best. And, I, and when I got it, I'm like, why? Why? But, why? Why? So, yes, y'all. So I just want to, the point of this video, ooh, that's his part right there. The point of this video is to encourage other mothers who are having a hard time nursing and it might be sore, you might not be lactating as much or, you know, you're just overwhelmed. Just know that you're giving the baby the best and you're helping yourself, you're burning calories, you're making sure that you're taking care of yourself as well by taking your vitamins, making sure that you're eating. You just want to make sure that everyone is benefiting from this. And so, yes, I just wanted to share that with you. If you have someone close by, anybody, even talk to a specialist, a lactationist or a lactation specialist, I know they have them at WIC, you can look online. I know that they have tea for nursing moms. I know they even have like treats and stuff like cookies. I've never tried them, which I feel like I should, but yeah. Oh, if any of y'all wondering, my son, he is officially 13 months. And so, and I told myself that I was only gonna breastfeed him for six months and six months came and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do it for a year. Be careful, boo boo. And it's been over a year. And so I'm very proud of myself and I can honestly see the difference. I mean, when I say that like, he's strong, I mean, I just, I don't know, like, 
there's certain things that I didn't have to really worry about as far as like him getting sick or anything like knock on wood where can I find some wood oh right here Ugh. I mean he hasn't had a fever he has a mouthful of teeth um and yes I'm let me tell you something it is almost a given that you will be bitten if you are still breastfeeding after six months. Like, it's a guarantee. And trust and believe, my reaction was like, I had to catch myself before I, you know what I'm saying? Because that first instinct when somebody bites you is what? You know what I mean? So, um, are you laughing? <laughs> just wanted to share my story you know it, it was really hard but it's, it's been a beautiful journey for me um and maybe in my next video i could talk about breastfeeding in public and you know what that feels like and, you know um here boo boo come over here because you're banging on the camera but yes i just wanted to come on here and just share with you guys there's beauty in the struggle that's all i can say and i feel like i made the best decision in the world and if i had the knowledge that i did when i had my daughter i probably would have breastfed her for about a year as well but at least she got something so i also want to encourage those mothers or let those mothers know who only might have breastfed for a week two weeks a month a year three years five years i mean i don't know the fact that you you gave your your child the best that's all that matters you gave your child liquid gold and so just know that don't compare yourself the fact that you were able to do it that's all that matters because there's some mothers out here that can't do it at all and you know what i mean so just be grateful for what you've done and um yeah if you ask me if I'm going to continue to breastfeed, yes. I don't know for how long. Um, but I know that because it's the winter, I just want to make sure that my son is protected with, you know, sicknesses and viruses and things like that. Whoever is out there struggling, you can do it. Just don't give up. Even when you're right about to give up, just continue doing research. Just be patient. And I know in the midst of after having a baby, you really don't have time for patience. The only patience that you have is for your newborn. But I'm telling you, it is worth it. It is worth it. And if you can't breastfeed, try pumping. I'm going to make a part two to this um, because I know that some women have a lot of questions as far as like, you know, do you lose sensitivity? um do your boobs sag and things like that so i kind of want to go i'm going to make a part two to this i just want to share with you my story of how i was this close to giving up but i've actually went further than expected so you can do it all right all right my lovelies my new moms my moms to be again i wish you well all right peace and love